We've been removing a significant amount of paint, with some areas where there is over one inch thick of body filler. Today we are going to show you what we use to get your car or truck down to bare metal. There is a large variety of shapes and sizes, and every one has its purpose. Where a strip disc can't fit, there are other options like a wire wheel that can come in so many varieties, it's hard not to find one to fit in that hard to fit space. Always wear a respirator when doing this. Here we have a Milwaukee drill with a wire brush attachment. Let's take a quick look at uh, how well this wire brush works. It does cover only a small surface area, but as you can see, it does a very well job of removing down to the bare metal. It just goes right through all that body filler, clear coat, paint. I really like this one, highly recommend it. It does work great on edges and a few hard to get spots, so it does uh, definitely have its purpose. I use a Makita corded drill. I have another wire brush. Uh, this brush is more aimed for corners, which it does work really good. Let me uh, go ahead and show you an example. Now one thing I do love is the handle on this drill. Uh, it does take some pressure and in certain directions to have that wire brush really get that paint off. So as you can see, this is a very hard to get to corner and this is making easy work of removing the paint out of that corner. Great job. Now let's move on to something a little more heavy duty. This is a grinder with a wire brush. Now the wires are uh, pretty thick. They are braided, so this is a very aggressive way to remove paint. Uh, I would only recommend doing this on you know large flat surface areas. It does generate a ton of heat, so be very careful when you're grinding on this kind of metal because it can warp. So don't stay in one spot too long. But as you can see, this stuff just rips the paint right off down to bare metal. Another attachment you can use on a grinder is called a strip disc. These things are awesome. I love these things. Now once again, this is a very aggressive way to remove paint down to bare metal. Uh, don't stay in one spot because it does also generate a lot of heat and you don't want to be warping your metal. Now when doing a project where you're taking all the paint and body filler down to bare metal, this strip disc will be your best friend. It does an amazing job. I cannot praise it enough. Now our air tools and die grinders, you can hook up a lot of attachments. Here we have the braided wire brush, the wire wheel. I will go ahead and show you how well these can work. Now I do recommend having at least a 60 gallon air compressor. We do not, so we kind of run into issues on running out of air. But if you are set up right, look how well this thing works. It's just like using an eraser on the paint. This rips right through it, very aggressive, highly recommended. Now we have a die grinder, another air tool that we like to use. It does work great in like small and hard to get places. So we'll go ahead and show you here. Now this thing, it is not recommended for doing large areas, of course, but like I said, if you need to get into like hard to get spaces, this is definitely a way to go. Uh, as you can see, it's almost like an eraser with this one too. This removes and rips right through that paint. Here we have another die grinder. This one has a different attachment for a little bit larger surface area. This one is definitely not as aggressive. It does take a little bit of pressure and it does not remove as quick, but it still serves a purpose for getting in certain areas. And it does make quick work definitely beats block sanding, I can say that for sure. So out of all of these, which one would we consider the best? Well, let's try to figure that out. I think the second place, so our runner up, would definitely be the grinder with the braided wires. Definitely a great job. Now our number one tool that we love to use for removing paint down to bare metal, no contest, it's definitely the strip disc. So any power tool you've seen us use in this video, uh, we definitely highly recommend. We've had no issues. They are all very reliable. Uh, Makita grinders, Metabo grinders, amazing. Also, the Ingersoll and Rand, that thing is awesome. Dewalt die grinder, we've never had any issues. 
even the Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic works great.